everyone, Darren here. And on today's episode of Watch the Academy, we're going to talk about equipping your tank. Now, before I get started right off the bat, I have a couple things I want to say. This video is 100% geared towards players just starting the game. This is not meant for those that have been in the game for a while and have figured this stuff out already. So this is a new player packet video. Also, I want to give a shout out to Watsi Gameplay Info over on Instagram for providing me with the idea. I didn't realize that I had not covered this topic till I saw their post on Instagram. And I want to thank them for basically the idea and allowing me to use the idea for a video. So shout out to them. Um, but getting started right now, um, we're going to use the Chrysler K. Now, how do you go and equip your vehicle? Uh, well, you can tell whether or not your vehicle is going to be equipped by the little info on the right-hand side of the screen. We can see the name of the tank, the Chrysler K, and then down a bunch of black boxes. Those black boxes basically mean that's those are slots. That's where your equipment, consumables, and camouflage stuff goes. Um, so to go and... Uh, equip your vehicle we want to uh, hit the customize button on xbox at least for my default scheme that will be the x button i don't know if it changes based on the control scheme um I, and i also don't know what it is on playstation but for, for the sake of this we're just going to stick by the name of the option you want to hit the uh, option uh button and you can tell what button you need to hit down at the bottom left hand corner of the screen so hit the option uh, to customize the vehicle and it brings us right to the loadout screen where we need to go of course if you want to equip camo because there's blank slots for that you can go over here and customize your tank that way but going back to the actual uh equipping your vehicle um if you have a tech tree vehicle uh you'll see modules here if you click on the module it will um show you what uh gun or for the sake of this module, what gun you have equipped, and it will also display, if it's a tech tree tank, what guns you have or have not unlocked yet. And it's pretty much the same for all these modules here. Um, for equipment here, you can see there's four slots. One of them is already filled. Um, that is the enhanced targeting info. You will get that by default, regardless of if it's a tech tree tank or a premium tank upon its purchase. Uh, it's the same thing in Cold War as well. You will get it on the vehicle by default. Uh, if you don't want that piece of equipment, and for a new player, I highly recommend you keep that piece of equipment on. Otherwise, you are going to probably have a miserable time unless you uh, don't want to see information. Um, but if you go and sell it, you will not make any silver off of it. You can sell it, uh, but uh, again, it's not worth it for someone just starting out. But with these three slots to go and equip the vehicle, uh, you just select uh, select the slot that you want to put the piece of equipment in, go to the piece of equipment that you want, and go and purchase it. Of course, if you find out later that you don't want that piece of equipment anymore, you can go and sell it for half of its value. Um, so, yeah. Same thing with consumables, only slightly different. You just select it, select which piece of consumable that you want. Do know that if you go and buy a consumable, um, you use it in battle regardless of whether or not you actually actively activate it. So, you know, you could go into battle and never use a med kit that game, but uh, you're still going to get charged for it simply because it's got a passive boost. And all these P consumables have a passive boost, so you will use the consumable and be charged for it regardless of whether or not you actively use it um so you can go just purchase it uh let's say you don't want to use that consumable again uh simply go and uh, you can just remove it and it will get put into its own little cache um, of available consumables and of course if you go and actually put something in you can auto select the option to auto resupply so you can turn it off or on. I recommend keeping it on simply so that way you don't forget to uh, equip your vehicle before going into battle. So moving on to uh, the premium rounds. Uh, it's the same thing. I did make a video on changing currency uh, from gold to silver. Uh, so I'll 
check that out. I'll make sure to put a link in the description of this video bringing you to this video. But for ammunition, it's the same thing. By default, you're going to have a bunch of standard rounds and a little bit of HE. Um, if you want to use premium rounds, simply just add it and just, you know, you can adjust your loadout to your heart's content here. Once you're done, you just hit the buy and install button and you can go and purchase the ammunition that you are adding to the vehicle. You can discard this, which basically resets your loadout completely, starts you on a clean slate. Um, or in this case here, if you go and just cancel it, you keep the setup that you had, you just don't go through with the purchase. But um, other than that, that is it for this video. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up. If you uh, know someone that could benefit from this video, send them uh, this way and uh, share this video with them. Let them know that this info is out there to help them. And if you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe. But until next time, this has been Darren of Watsi Academy.